Tyler Childers can be played two ways, and I'll show you both of them. One I've seen play it solo out of a C formation in standard tuning, and the second way I've seen him play it is capoing on the third fret and then playing out of A formation, both of which are in the key of C, so the same key. And I'll show you both ways to play it, but I'll start with the way that I've seen him play it solo acoustic, which is out of C. The opening chord will be a hammer roll, a pull off and a hammer on inside of a C chord. So your ring finger goes to the fifth string, third fret. Your first finger will be on the second string, first fret. And then you'll use your second finger to put it on the fourth string, second fret. You'll strike the chord. You'll pull off your second finger. You'll strike the chord again and then hammer on your second finger for that sort of feel. And then you'll pick up your second finger and hammer on like two or three more times. So that's hammer, hammer, and then hit and pull off and hit on the C note. Listen to it very slow. And then you'll you'll hammer again with your second finger on the second string, on the uh, fourth string second fret. And then you'll move into a D minor chord. The way that you move into the D minor chord is that you'll put your pinky finger on the second string third fret your first finger on the first string, first fret, and then with your second finger, you're going to strike the fourth string down and hammer on with your second finger to the third string, second fret. And you'll do that hammer on twice in the D minor. And in the D minor, you can also sometimes hear Tyler Childers hit with his pick the first string and pull off his first finger from the first string, first fret and then hit the second string behind it. So we've got the C, D minor, and then hammer the first finger back down onto the first string, first fret. And then it goes to a C chord. You're gonna move with your ring finger to the fourth string, third fret, and the first finger will go to the second string, first fret. So fourth string, third fret, second string, first fret. And you will use your second finger to hammer on to the third string, second fret. So you're hammering on. And then you're gonna hammer on with your pinky finger to the second string, third fret. Then pick it up. And then you'll hammer on again with your second finger to the third string, second fret. Third string, second fret and then it's gonna go E minor. The way that you move the uh, E minor is second finger on the fifth string second fret, ring finger on the third string second fret, everything else open. E minor back to the D minor, and then into the C chord where it does that round again. As far as the strumming, the strumming is not real busy. You're basically just strumming down whenever you hear a hammer on. So it's down and then you're just kind of lightly catching back up on the strings, but then emphasizing any sort of hammers or moves. Those are also the chords just to the verse. Whenever it gets out of the main intro riff, it just goes C. Still hammering on in the C to the D minor. Hammering on in the D minor to the F. To the E minor. To the D minor. To the C again. Whenever we get to the chorus, the chorus is going to also be a C chord. To a D minor chord. And here's where a change comes. It goes now, instead of to the F, it goes straight to the E minor. And then back up to the D minor. 
and then Tyler Childers tends to go to an F major bar chord. The way that you're making this chord is you bar across the first fret of all strings with your first finger, then you put your ring finger on the fifth string third fret, pinky finger on the fourth string third fret, and second finger on the third string second fret. And then it's going to go, um, how does that go? Let me run through it again. After that F chord, it goes to the C major chord. And playing this song live, Tyler Childers tends to resolve to a four finger C chord. My ring finger is on the sixth string third fret, pinky finger on the fifth string third fret, second finger on the fourth string second fret, open third string, first finger on the second string first fret, open first string. And then it repeats that course again in the C to the D minor to the E minor, to the D minor, to the F, resolve to a four finger C, and then it picks back up into the main riff again. I will say also in this little picking riff, this is something to listen along with Tyler Childers on because I feel like there's always one more hammer on uh, than what you think there's going to be. Because the first hammer on, I think he's using it as a lead in note to the downbeat of the next measure, if that makes sense. So um, playing it, it always feels just a little bit wonky because there's usually one more hammer on than what you think there's going to be before it gets into the... So that's something to listen to, uh, to get the feel perfectly right on that. Lastly, I want to show you very quickly what the chord shapes would be if you were capoed on the third fret, like Tyler Childers does often when he plays a song with a band. Uh, and I'll speak now as though the capo is the nut, and I'll be, you know, this would be zero fret, one fret, two fret, three fret, etc. So the first chord will be an A chord now, or an A-shaped chord. It's still actually a C major. But an A-shaped chord that you'll make by barring your first finger across strings four, three, and two on the second fret. The second chord would be also, let me preface this by saying that whenever Tyler Childers plays this, with a band capoed, he isn't playing the riff that you hear that's being played by a lead guitar that's probably playing it still in C shape like I showed you earlier. So A chord to the second chord is going to be a B minor shape. Tyler puts his first finger on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, pinky finger on the third string, fourth fret, second finger on the second string, third fret. And then you're going to go to a D shaped chord. This is the F chord. So first finger on the third string, second fret, ring finger on the second string, third fret, second finger on the first string, second fret, strum from the fourth string down. And then you'll go to a, uh, a C sharp minor bar chord shape. So you're putting now your first finger on the one, two, three, four, uh, one, the fourth fret, first finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, ring finger on the fourth string, sixth fret, pinky finger on the third string, sixth fret, second finger on the second string, fifth fret. And then it would go from that C sharp minor shape down two frets to the B minor shape, and then resolve back into the A shape. And then for the chorus, that would have been the verse. The chorus would be A to the B minor, and then it would immediately come up to the C sharp minor to the B minor, and then D before going back into the A. And those are the chords and movements for All Yorn by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.